Now, everything was going good, everything was going fine until October of 2008 when my partner Jay was coerced to go to another radio station. When Jay went to the other radio station because he was not doing his duties at Howling Wolf, he was not paying attention to his obligations, I fired him from Howling Wolf AM and FM. When I fired Jay, he went over to the other radio station full time and also took every one of the Howling Wolf DJs with him from the Howling Wolf FM and AM radio. So needless to say, from October 2008 to February 1st, 2009, I was running three radio stations by myself. That's right, I was running three radio stations by myself without any help, without any cooperation. So because I couldn't get DJs and the staff, I decided to close Howling Wolf AM radio. But I also made a video on YouTube which is still up on this channel saying that I reserved the right at any time to reopen up Howling Wolf AM radio. And these are the reasons why I close Howling Wolf AM radio. Number one, I didn't have the staff to run it because all my staff left me to go to the other radio station. That's number one. Number two, I was getting stressed out and burnt out running three radio stations by myself. That's number two. And number three, I was having, I'm was i having financial difficulties right now. I'm $28,000 in debt. And I figured the money I would save by shutting off WKNRC and Howling Wolf AM uh, and I was renting three, two, two other servers for those, and I decided, well, instead of renting servers for those other two radio stations, why don't I merge WKNRC and Howling Wolf AM into Howling Wolf FM? See, I never officially closed it all the way. Well, uh, that's another thing I said in my YouTube video. I was merging the other two radio stations into Howling Wolf FM until I could get the staff and the DJs to reopen them as separate radio stations in the future. But as I stated in that video when I closed Talon Wolf AM in February of this year, 2009, I said that I reserved the right to reopen it at any time. Well, my ex-partners have decided to reopen up Howling Wolf AM and they are deliberately using it to do Pow Talk rooms. And they got everybody on Pow Talk believing that they own the real Howling Wolf AM. But no, I own the real Howling Wolf AM. I've said that in previous videos. They want to be a copycat station. They want to take my name that I created and go use it somewhere else. And I got mad over it, and I made some nasty videos over it. But, uh, that's why there are two Howling Wolf AM radios out there. So, like I was saying, my ex-partners decided to reopen up Howling Wolf AM, copying, uh, the name that I created. And, uh, they're using it to, uh, broadcast rooms on Pow Talk. Which created a fight, which created a little radio war, hence the previous videos which I removed. Now, not only have they cre created havoc on Pow Talk, that they got everybody believing that they are the real uh Howling Wolf AM radio, but they also went they also went a step further to have one of my Pow Talk Knicks banned from Pow Talk. Now I had a nick on Pal Talk that was Howling Wolf FM Radio number two. All that nick was used for was to create the radio room and open the radio room. Under in Pal Talk, under each username, you can create your own chat room. So underneath that nick, I had the Howling Wolf AM Radio 
um, room underneath that Nick and Pal Talk. They went to Pal Talk and lied and had that Nick banned from Pal Talk. And the, and the reason why I believe they had that Nick banned from Pal Talk is because they wanted to be able to create the room that said Howling Wolf AM Radio. They wanted to make the title of, of a user room that I already had. And the only way that they could make a room that was already existing is to get me knocked off of Pal Talk so the title would be, so the room name would become available and they would get the room name. And like I said, that room, that nick was never used, uh, in any way to harass or message these people. Now I did have a fight with them on my other nick. And yes, I got nasty with them in Pal Talk. Yes, I got rude with them on Pal Talk, uh, a little bit on Pal Talk. But like I said, um, it was uncalled for to ban the second Nick. And it's my strong belief the only reason why the second Nick got banned is because it had the radio room attached to it. And I have contacted a lawyer, and I will be suing Pal Talk for closing that Nick unjustly. Uh, Pal Talk wanted a lawsuit by closing that name, listening to their lies. See, I didn't care if they, I don't care if they closed the one that I was fighting with them with. You know, I can see that, you know, when two people are uh, fighting, you might want to ban an account. But to ban the second name that had nothing to do with them, had nothing to do with the fight, and have a room and have a nickname banned just because it has a room uh name associated with it and you want the room name that's why they did it so anyway i got a little lawsuit going on with pal talk but like i said they decided to open up howling wolf am uh knowing that it would start a fight knowing that it would start controversy and knowing that i wouldn't be happy about it when I stopped talking to these people, all I wanted was for them to leave me alone. I didn't want to be hounded in any way. I didn't want to contact them in any way. And what did they do to go up and to what did they do to go out and start up trouble? They used Howling Wolf AM's name. So, like I said, you know there are two Howling Wolf AM radios out there, but just remember, I created the first one. I own the real Howling Wolf AM radio. Regardless of what you hear out there, mine is the real Howling Wolf AM radio. And as I've been saying, our new slogan for that radio station is often imitated but never duplicated. And like I said, they reopened up my station knowing that it would cause a war, knowing that it would cause drama. And knowing that it would cause havoc on Pal Talk. And all I wanted to do was be left alone. And I wasn't going to have any contact with them. I didn't want them to have any contact with me. And we were going to go live our separate lives. And have a peaceful life and not talk to one another. But no, I got a crank call in the middle of the night. You're listening to the new Howling Wolf AM at da 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 da. Yeah, the guy couldn't even use his own voice when he called me up. So like I said, they were wrong. They could have used another name title. They did it wrong. Like I said, they could have reversed the name. I would have been fine with them reversing the name. You know? Because then part of the original radio station would be still on Pal Talk. But to take the radio station and totally copy it, no, that was uncalled for. And they'll probably call the cots on this video, but as I can, but I didn't say anything harassing in this video, so there's no need to call the cops.